Hello, welcome to this part of the tutorial. Today we want to look at how to calculate the um, <coughs> hydrate formation um, conditions and also uh, how to calculate the minimum concentration of inhib inhibitor fluid to use to cater for that situation. Now we have um, a retrograde gas condensate model that has been fine-tuned in our last tutorial uh, which uh, the last I think that was tutorial 2, the second tutorial on PVTP. So that's the model we have here. We can look at, um, uh, let's just go to data and look at the properties. Okay, so if you look at this, um, we discover we have um, formation GOR of these and all that. Those are the black oil properties. Uh, calculate and you can look at more of this. Impurities. Okay. Um, we can also... Uh, you can also look at um, calculations that have been done for this envelope. Uh, discover this has been tuned, list that is matching. You can look at um, SA separator conditions. Uh, okay, so everything is okay. This from the last tutorial. Discover this was this was okay. Now, how do you calculate um, hydrate? Uh, yes, how do you know the temperature? Calculate the temperature at which you'll have hydrates. So, to from calculate hydrates, this is what you do. Uh, <clears throat> you go to calculate solids and then you look at hydrate formation pressure, right? So, if you click on hydrate formation pressure, you click on this, it brings up the screen. Now, we have two types of hydrate hydrate one and hydrate two. We are predicting both, right? Both. Now um, I'm gonna use user selected, uh, user selected because uh, I'll just enter the range of temperatures at which uh, these are line these are free to be produced. So I'm assuming it will go from uh, maybe 40 degrees to about 80 degrees within that, but we are targeting 60 degrees. But anything can happen; it might reduce, go back and forth. So just it's good to um, do that. I'll just use 20 data points, just that. Now, I don't want to include inhibitors. I don't even know if I'll have hydrate and all that. So, I'll just leave these out for now. So, just these ones. Then, I'll go to calculate and then calculate. Now, the calculation is complete. This is how we have the formation pressures for hydrate 1 and hydrate 2. I think graph is beta. So, I'll just plot to see what we have. Now, this is this. Okay, so this is for hydrate 1 and this is for hydrate 2. Now let I assume uh, let assume your well head pressure will be at 3000. Now what this tells us is if you're considering this line considering this line 3000 it's saying if you don't need hydrate hydrate will be formed at the left hand section this section of the well. This is where hydrate will be formed. If you don't need hydrate to be formed, that means you have to maintain your uh, temperature well above a certain value. Now, this is 3000. Uh, this is 3000. That is a um, uh, temperature of about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Meaning, if you don't want hydrate to be formed, your temperature must be above 65 degrees. <laughs> That's what it's saying. Uh, if your well head pressure is at 3000, your temperature should be above that. In fact, uh, preferably around this region. Uh, this is 73 degrees for hydrate 2. So your temperature should be in this region. This region. That's where you should maintain your temperature if you don't want hydrate to be formed. If your well head pressure will be this much, then your temperature should also be greater than that. That's just how it is. If your wallet temperature um, this is lower, then you know what to do. So that's just how to predict the formation pressure for your hydrate. Okay. Now, uh, once you've predicted that, the next thing is um, what is the minimum concentration of inhibitor fluid to use? Now you also go to calculation, uh, calculate solid, and then you go to hydrate minimum inhibitor concentration. Now uh, <clears throat> you're looking at you, um, the temp uh, the pressure at which you'll be uh, producing. So let's say about 3,000 degrees. Um, sorry, 3,000 psig for the pressure. 
and temperature of um uh let's say the temperature is at uh, 60 all right if you want to produce that what is the minimum concentration my inhibitor is methanol that's what i want to use for now so all i do if you can click on calculate you discover you need about five percent by weight um methanol right five percent by weight methanol to inhibit this hydrate formation so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching um do well to subscribe and ask questions so you don't understand goodbye for now